Welcome back to another Awaken video. We're going to go over the number one epic champion in the game, and that is Zat Lux. He is number one for wave clearing to get to a boss, to do campaign, mythic campaign. You can use him in trials. You can use him in void tower normal, one through 100. You can use him in some of hard as long as you have the ability to go first or to make sure that you don't take a lot of damage right away. You can have Celestial Kane in there, and then you can have, bring Zat Lux in to clean up, have my free to play account up day three and then we also have my main account up i'm going to show you in-game stats that you need if you want to clear queen of tide 12 have him go first clear it all the way up to the boss so you'll have speed runs and then i'm going to show you what mine is like right now on my free to play account this is my free to play day three and i was lucky enough to pull him right away you guys are going to have to work toward getting him my free to play one doesn't have a lot of gear. He really does not have a lot of gear on. He is level 50. He's the first one I took up. I do have some of his skills done. I should have farmed this more when it was available to farm yesterday. But I kind of slacked off because you need a lot of multi hitters to do well in Bane Wrath. And I didn't have any multi hitters at that time. It was day one. And when it's open again, we'll be able to get an additional 20 crit, 20 precision. We'll hit harder on his ultimate ability. 40% more damage and cooldown. We want that because we have to kill with him. That's his main thing is to get a kill on this ultimate ability and then keep killing. So I really want these cooldowns, but even without the cooldowns, he's a beast right now. And even with this gear, which is really sad gear compared to my Nat, who's been using all this gear that we get when we go through adventure mode. This is free gear that you get dropped from adventure mode. Let's just go to the next one that I'm on currently. I hope it's not too difficult. It's 9-7. Should be okay. If it gets hard, we just bring in a friend, right? We can have 50 friends use their strongest champion three times a day. Make sure you get some friends that are high level. Don't get those friends that are level 9. Get the ones that are whales. And if you need friends, get in the Discord. Down below, you'll see a link for Discord. There we go. Speaking of Zatlux, there he went doing his magic he didn't get to kill them all we got to i guess one that had too much hp or a bad affinity all right we've got a lot of fire affinity here so he's not going to do too well on this wave two i wouldn't assume but you never know Ooh, oh man so close all the sliver of life and he would have gone on to the next one and done even more damage to that next one now his skills on cooldown though unfortunately that's okay. That's what Natalia's here for. Now it's off cooldown. As long as he gets a kill, he's back at it. We've got decreased defense. Come on. Show him, Zatlux. This is why we love you. Mm. Bad affinity. He's always going to attack the person with the lowest HP. Lowest overall HP, even if it's strong affinity. I wish he wouldn't do that. I wish he would go over to the blues because I know he could kill those blues first. He could have killed all those blues. Been much stronger when he got to that red and maybe, probably not killed it, but at least done a lot more damage to it. That's that Lux currently on my free to play. This is my main account. These are the stats you're gonna need to be able to drop the waves before you get to the boss in Queen of Tide 12. Don't worry about the ascension too much. These other ascensions, plus speed, plus health, and plus defense. That's not adding to his damage. Only the first one's adding to his damage. 15% additional damage, so you can still do what I'm doing. He's just not gonna be as tanky. And the gear I have on him is in-game gear. It's all epic gear, plus 15. 3,700 for attack and 261 critical damage. And remember, we get 30% additional crit, so you only need 70 crit. That's what makes this guy so strong. You only need 70 crit. It doesn't show it. It does say his passive says 30% additional, but it doesn't show it on this card here. So 70% crit rate, get a lot of critical damage, and then attack. Now, of course, you could have 4,000 attack, and less critical damage, but it's gonna be close to this. Close to these stats right here, and we're gonna do a run going through Queen of Tide 12 right now. Or let's do a run in adventure mode so we can see how well he does. Okay, against this boss, sure. This is Mythic, the hardest adventure mode, and I bring him in. I bring him in everywhere. I use him from early game all the way to end game. He is that good. He is an S tier epic champion. The best tier, the best epic champion along with Natalia to clear waves. I did say earlier he was the best to clear waves. Okay, he's the best along with an in-game Natalia to clear waves. These two together. 
I said only him earlier, and then I've got an epic running right beside him, right? I've got her running right beside him. She's so good, man. I love her. And they've given us both right now. They've given us Natalia, and they've given us... We always get Zat Lux. We can always get him from the bar. And you see how he just tears through units. And there's a few other bosses out there that have a couple waves before we get to them. If you can beat the boss and don't have to worry about having a fourth slot in there for something in particular, if you can just bring in Zat Lux to get you there, it'll make the runs way faster. You don't have to worry about those waves. You can just kill them. Oh, man, he died. Anyways, let's get on to a run in Queen of Tides. You've seen what he can do here. This is a fast Queen of Tide run for a free-to-play account. Of course, it's in-game gear. You just saw the gear on Zatlux, but this is free-to-play completely. And if you didn't have Santis, you could still bring in anything here. But here he goes. He's going first. He's tearing up those waves. And I have done Queen of Tide 12 without him. Of course, it's very slow going through these waves, but it's it's doable. It's fine. This is how I got the gear on him right now to be able to do this. Of course, I didn't just start off coming into 12 with just him speed running this all. I didn't even use him in the beginning. I just use a very slow team to get through the waves, really long runs. And then as you get better gear, as you can roll that gear up and get better substat hits, then you start making an in-game comp like this. And he is just here to get us through those waves. He'll die here many times. Usually my runs are 2 minutes and 50 seconds to right at 3 minutes. Let's see what we get this time. We're at 51 seconds right now. Zatlux can die. We can even have Santis die at times if we have a really unlucky beat. Of course, if you have Blackhorn, that's a better option for you than this Elite Healer. But she's amazing. I love this Elite Healer. I've already got her on my free-to-play account day 3. I've already got Valuk too. I kind of feel like on my free-to-play account that I just want to skip everything and just go straight to farming Queen of Tide. Not even worrying about... I've got to glyph people, though. They have to be glyphed. Remember, this is an in-game team. They're built properly. Because I have this elite healer in here, I do have a healing set, a revival set on Santis because she doesn't have the best tank stats. I want to build her tanky. All I need her there is for the poisons. She is a fusion synthesis champion that we can all make. Well, you can't make those... Fusion champions that easy. Even on my free-to-play account, I don't think I can make Santis right now. And I don't feel like I'm going to be able to make her anytime immediately soon. So I do have Valuk. I've got um, whatever this girl's name is. I can't remember at this time. The Elite Healer. Damn, I can't remember her name. And I've got Charles that I could do on my free-to-play. Really, you just need survivability. Once you come in here on 12, as long as you have units that can survive along with this Elite Healer, other Elite units like Charles or Rog, they can self-sustain themselves. She can focus on healing one other person with her two-turn cooldown and removing that debuff. And then she does do a big AoE heal based off of her max HP like that with increased defense. So it's really strong. I think it's going to be easy for all of us to get to Queen of Tide 12 and farm. But this is going longer than I thought it would go. No, we're at 247. Perfect. This is exactly what I thought it would be. This is a speed run since we have our Zatlux in here for Queen of Tide 12. Free to play. It's about as fast as you're going to get. I don't think you're going to get any faster as far as free to play goes. Three minutes. I knew it. Right there. So that's Zatlux, everyone. Let me know your thoughts on Zatlux. I love him. He's been so fun to play and we all get him. So work your way to get him. Enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys all in a video soon.